episode of the Ever Black Podcast is brought to you by Death Wish Hot Rods and Customs. Check out their Instagram for all their new t-shirts, caps, beanies, cups, and the all-new Atomic Death lineup. <laughs> well, uh, Tim, thanks for joining us on the show, brother. It's good to talk to you. It's uh, I'm I'm very excited to be here, and I, I really appreciate your interest. So, thank you very much. I like you guys a lot. I'm gonna go straight straight off the bat. I really really like Primitive. Like, uh, you. yeah, you guys are really really fucking good. <laughs> Thank you. No, that's um, that's I guess we strive to um, please some people while pleasing ourselves uh, most of all. But um, I really appreciate th- th- that. Thank you very much. That's that's very kind of you. It's good to drive to. Drive too fast to. Yeah, but I'm not going to say that on air, am I? No, no of course not. No, no, no. no. no it's um, it, it, there's definitely some. Um, we, yeah, I don't know. A lot of groove stuff, a lot of thrashy stuff. Mm. It's kind of hard to pinpoint sort of a subgenre for us, or for me at least. I can't really pinpoint what exactly it is, but yeah, no, it's just good. It's just decent metal. I'll call it that. Yeah, I agree. And I agree. And I feel lucky because I've heard the new EP that's coming out on August 12, and that's called uh, With the Rats and Snakes. And uh, man, it's great. I was driving around. We we're just talking about driving around yesterday and the day before, listening to it, and go, man, it's it's a good EP, and I think a lot of people are really gonna dig it. It's got great energy. It's it's got the you know it's got power behind it. You know, how far back do the songs go though? Considering the thing that happened that shall not be named, the thing, yeah, the nameless thing. The na- um, <laughs> yeah, it's. Th- those songs have been around for a, a little while, probably longer than I can remember, to be honest. But there's a few things that have been sitting there, um, or like sort of in the in the riff bank, you know, as as you know, um, mm. kind of sitting archived, probably in the last two three years, I, I guess. Um, so the first EP was 2017. We did it single in 2019, and then pretty much from there we started. Well, we had ideas. Um, so I want to say 2020, maybe 2020. So the last two years, uh, we've we've had these ideas and songs, um, you know, in one way or another, or in one form or another. So been a little while for us to sit down with it and make sure they were not too long or too short or whatever. But obviously that opinion changes once you listen to it a thousand times. So um, we we did as much we did we did as much editing as we possibly could, and and I think we're we're fairly fairly happy with the result i'm pretty excited for it to to get out there um because it has been a while sitting with those ideas for sure well i mean you can really hear how the band has evolved since the first ep which is also great but there's a lot of growth that i can hear there what what do you think that that driving force was Uh, was it a different approach was it the last couple of years that sort of what what, where where did that come from well, first of all, thank you for saying that there is growth and it's, I would say it's definitely more of a mature effort than the first one. Mm. Um, not to say that the first one is bad at all, but oh, no, no, we probably had those songs for a long time and sat with them for a longer time than we have this second time around. So I guess maybe they showed, I don't know if they showed, uh, they showed their age because we wrote them when we were a little younger, but this time around, at least for my point of view or perspective of the writing of it all, it was definitely a an effort or a, a um it was a goal to 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 make sure we maybe trim the fat or um we we did it we did a more cohesive piece rather than riff salads everywhere and you know three minute instrumentals at the end which we still kind of have in this thing but yeah, yeah, yeah. it'll always be a part of us but I wanted to make sure at least for me it was a it was a step up and I, it came from it came from a you know a preconceived thought where where it needed to go. There is one way of going, it needs to be spontaneous and creative, and that's what it is. But there's also, there needs to be intention and goals behind it and um, something for you to strive to, which I think I think we nailed, uh, at least this time around. And the next batch of songs might be shorter, they might be longer, who knows. But 
yeah, it definitely came from a, a train of thought of of something that needed to be a certain thing, and I, I think we I think we got there. Hundred percent, and it sounds massive too, like it sounds good. Like, yeah, where, yeah. Where's the production? Like, who who did the production on this thing? The production was uh, done by Tom Cadden from Violent Sound. Um, so he did all the productions, got the tones, and and mm. really gave it that um, that you know that modern age sort of thickness and, and crisp to it. Um, Chris the Malco uh, tracked ah, it all. Of course. Yeah, so he was a creative um, collaborator of ours in regards to tracking it and 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 you know making sure we're, we're getting the right things nailed. And yep. he's done the first EP. He did the single. He's done every Melbourne metal band that you can you can think of. He's the guy. So, and we were really happy with working with Chris. So it yep. was like, let's do this with Chris. And then I guess the the intention for the for how it sounds again was a at least for, on my end, was um, a preconceived thought of kind of kind of uh, melding those two. Is melding a word? Yeah, melding? Like, I, I, I don't it know. It's melding. Monday night. Let's just say it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, was, it, was a, yeah, it was an effort to combine, uh, I'll say combined, uh, to to combine, I guess, w- the riffs and then the songs and whatnot, I would say are a little more old school compared to maybe the new age metalcore type thing. Um but we, but I, we wanted to have like the modern production at the same time. So it's kind of like two worlds combining, um, at least in in my my opinion. So it's a re- it's just in you, like the the production's just in your face, and I love it. Like it's just relentless, and it goes with the songs. It's just yes. perfectly mapped in my opinion. So um, yeah, again, another thing that we thought let's combine the two things where you know where a lot of people say we've got the trivium vibe, we've got the old school Lamb of God vibe. So that early 2000s thing with this modern production seemed like a really good fit. I didn't know what it was going to be like, but it, it seems to be okay. <laughs> okay. Come yeah. on. Come on. It's, no, it's know. awesome. I know. It's it's really, really cool. And I like the there's like the vocal layering as well is really, really fucking cool. Like there's some moments there. It's it's it, it's filthy. And I love yeah. it. It's and and that is really that really happened within within recording. So as you know, it's like you kind of learn things on the way, uh, uh, yeah, on the way of recording. And and as things happen in the songs, it's like they need certain sounds or they need certain yeah, yeah, voices yeah, yeah. or whatnot. And in the first EP, it was kind of like one pitch, one one just one thing. And I was like, you know, I'm still figuring out what I am or who I am as a vocalist, mm-hmm. having only two EPs out. So kind of wanted to switch it up and, and have some different voices and, and Chris suggested it as well. And it's like, just go really low and d- don't even like, don't even say like hardly say the word, you know what I mean? So it's like yeah, these different yeah. ways of doing things, just making sure you get the production right. Yeah. And then I did this weird Marge Simpson, Black Dahlia vibe, uh, just that the, the shrieky sort of black. Yeah. Yeah. Type yeah. 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 Um, yep. yeah not, not exactly. You know, not, I'm not saying a sound like that, but there was just that sort of inspiration and it kind of, mm. It went really well with the normal sort of vocal thing I've got, and then that the the low thing, and then the high thing. So having those layers, I think, stands out compared to the first release, yep. and just makes it uh, probably makes it a little more matured and um, a little just more creative and 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 thicker and or more more of a dense effort. See, I, I, that's my attack too when I'm recording the vocals. Yeah, I, I like those layers as well when I when I record. So when I was hearing it, I was going, yeah, this guy gets it. He, he knows he's, I think we're going to be pals. So yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. you know, like it, it, it sounds huge. Like, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, like, and it, it's, it makes for a better, it just makes for a better experience as a listener to yeah. know that, that those different voices happening. I think the thing for me right now is like even coming back from rehearsal is figuring out which one I want to do live. Ah, oh, yeah. I've got, yeah, it in my, yeah. I've got it in my head where I'm like, I really want to do the the high bit because it just sounds sick. But yeah, you got to. Also, the throat is not something you can. Um, you know, it's it's a human. It's a part of you. You can't really. You're gonna kill yourself if you if you keep doing highs and lows and mids and whatever, in a 45 minute set or half an hour set or whatever. So, you got to do it right. You got to do it the proper yeah. way. Changing gears can can be real killer like i 
I do it, and um, sometimes I go, oh, I should have. Should have eased into that one. Should have warmed up a little bit more first. Yeah. <laughs> you go, oh, especially yeah. with high stuff, and then going from there to like dropping it down. You're like, oh, okay. Come on, it's on. all part of it's all part of experience, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's it. That's it. You get there, but you get there. <laughs> it's hard. It's up to it's hard. You don't realize it, people. No, exactly right. I think everyone goes, you know, to the un un. Uh, I don't want to say untrained, the un uneducated. I don't know the people who just don't maybe understand metal or know metal as much. It's like, you know, you're just yelling. It's like, no, you're not. No, 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 like, no. And, <laughs> even within the band, it's like, you know, we're gonna incorporate some like backing vocals and stuff which I haven't done before. Um, and it's like seeing the other guys do it. It's like mm, it's not that, it's not that easy, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, it's funny, yeah. Just like yeah, it's 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 a lot harder than people think. So, hundred percent. Glad you get it. Hey, there we go. Yeah. Someone gets it. We haven't. Cheers. <laughs> it is the screamy people. Yeah, as I drink my honey lemon tea. Oh <laughs> yeah, I'm having a I'm having a water in a Bowie mug because oh, that's how boring I am tonight. But uh-huh. Saturday night was a different story. But uh, you know. <laughs> But uh, I mean, in in regards to the EP, what's the concept behind it lyrically, and how does it all tie together throughout those songs? I'd say I wouldn't say it's a, I wouldn't say there's a general concept to the record. Uh, I want to say record the EP. Um, I would just say it's thematic in that sense where I don't know. It kind of just deals with the everyday thoughts of a human. I, I don't really have a specific stories, uh, story or meaning behind each thing. Um, I do, you know, it's the it's the classic artist thing. You want to keep it vague and up to the up to the listeners, up for you know their interpretation. But I, I'd say it deals with you know it deals with general sort of anxieties and and negativity in your life, and whether that be through people you know, people you don't know, uh, just general outside stuff or, or inward stuff. So it probably deals with, I, I guess, in a general concept sense, it probably just deals with the normal struggles of humanity, uh, and that can be directed in yeah internal external people you know people outside of your world or whatever and the things that you've you've witnessed so um yeah it kind of it kind of deals with a, a couple of different things that's awesome man and, and the video for the single is incredible too like so cinematic dude it's massive who who, who filmed that that was our friend nick at uh njv media um so nick's done nick Nick's one of these dudes, right, where, and I absolutely hate him for it, where he just does one thing, and he's just, like, good at, or, like, everything he does. Yeah, yeah. So he's like, oh, I've just, he'll, like, send something, like, guitar thing, he's like, oh, what do you think of this? And I'm like, it was better than anything I've <laughs> ever written, ever. <laughs> Shut up. Like, don't, what are you doing? And then he's like, oh, I want to get into videos. And then he's, like, doing stuff for Psychroptic, and he just went to uh, to America for cattle, and I was like. Wow what is going on? Like he's absolutely, absolutely killing it. So yeah, he's, he's, he's been a dude for, for a little while now. And um, he's done a lot of, he's actually did like the first cover for the, our EP and yeah. for our single. So, um, and I really wanted to make a, an effort for this release to be cohesive visually as much as it is in production and songwriting and the, you know, the audible experience. So he did our, uh, sorry, he did our uh, cover for this EP he did the video. He's going to do the next video. He's done all our, you know, online assets and stuff. So really, at, it was a really like collaborative um, partnership in the whole creative thing. So I, we wanted to make sure it was one person and it just looked as cohesive and I guess professional as possible. I'm pretty, I'm very much of a stickler, I like to overanalyze and make sure everything is perfect as possible. Um, and he, he did it. He did better than than I ever imagined. So, you know, I guess the, the the vibe from that video was like, what metal band hasn't done a forest video, by the way? And I wanted to do it because it was like, it's kind of a cliche thing. People knock it. And I'm like, no way. Like, ah. in this lifetime, I'm doing, I'm yelling in a forest. I don't care. Like, <laughs> it is what it is. So, um, yeah, it just, it just all worked out really well. And, and I wanted my sort of, thing or reference was just like yeah i want it to be as cinematic as possible with the budget that we have and nick just smashed it he just knew exactly Mm. how it should be and the in the video there's the intro as well for the ep so curse that little like 40 second thing 
and it's just everything that sort of happened was I just think really cool and um we couldn't have we couldn't have done it without him. Looks like indoor. Um yeah, no, you know what? We were there and um we actually had I don't think we we didn't really use it in the video, but there was a there's we had a drone there and we kind of went through the forest with um uh with the with the drone and I think I think it was said multiple times we're just like this is Battle of Endor. Like yeah. that's, <laughs> that's so like, good. <laughs> and I'm obviously as you can as we spoke earlier, yeah. I just, like, I'm a Star Wars dude, so I was just like yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is sick. So um yeah, uh, I I appreciate that. I had it in my notes and I was like, oh man, I could just, it could go either way. I could be like, yeah, it looks like Endor. And you're like, what the fuck's an Endor? And then maybe be like, all right, so I'm, all right, thanks, man. Thanks for your time. Yeah, for your time. But now <laughs> you're like, but you're like, yeah, man, Endor. I'm like, yeah, cool. Cause you know, most metal dudes are uh, nerdy dudes as well. So it just goes hand in hand. But the, you know, the, yeah. the big, the big trees are logs and everything. I, I was like, that's, that's, that's awesome. No, absolutely. That was done in um a place called Warburton. I think it's maybe like two hours out of Melbourne. Yeah. Uh, at a at a redwood forest. So um it was funny because there was like a bunch of tourists there and they probably <laughs> didn't want to hear us. And we've got like a generator going, some lights, made some like makeshift like TP thing. Um we had a flare, obviously we had the flare there, and yeah, it was yeah, just yeah. You know, it probably wasn't the most legal of things, but uh, we made it happen and we did it really early in the morning. But yeah, just watching like we had like a bunch of people around us. It was just a very fun experience. It was a very fun day. That's awesome. Yeah, it just it was just so sick. And uh, the fact that you that you mentioned uh, Endor makes it so much better. So all you needed was that that little going on the see, but that'd be you know, there's going too far. No, I'm a short, I'm like a short guy too. So like <laughs> if I had like a little Ewok, um, like a oh, costume, man. or we had like a, like a bad speeder, like a two second, just like a two second shot, <laughs> like a bad speeder or something like that. I don't know. It would have, it would have worked really well. Yeah. But you know, those, those Disney guys. Are, yeah. Yeah. Don't get me started on that. We can do yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Don't right. even get me started. Yeah. See, <laughs> this is going to turn into like a five hour conversation. Yeah. Just on, He's just on sales. I will say though, like, you know, but look, we don't have to keep this in there. We'll talk about it in too long. But you enjoy, you obviously enjoy Mando. You enjoy, yeah. 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 Did you enjoy Obi Wan? Yeah. I thought it was great. Yeah, I thought you were going to go. All right, mate. Well, uh, thanks for hanging out. But... No, 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 no. <laughs> Obi, like, like Obi Wan is is my is yeah. my favorite. So to see any sense of additional yeah, yeah. content with with you and McGregor, I'm I'm all for it. So, um, a lot of people, you know, knocked it, but don't watch it. That's all I got to say. Yeah, I'm with I you, like man. It. No, I did too. I like, I like. What was her name? Reva. I like the, I like the whole yeah. thing, man. I thought it was really, really good. Yeah, you know? and absolutely. I want more. I want more. Just needed some more. Hello there. You know, hello so, there. There's, there's yeah. definitely. We've got to be another season. I think they have to. I think it made them too much money. Yeah, I was about but, to you say, know, the ending was like that. ending was biggest fan service ever. They're like, oh, you think? No, uh, no. Nah, nah, here's this. Oh yeah, here's this. Oh yeah. and uh, oh yeah, Liam. Oh, there's Liam Neeson. Yeah, you wanted him. Yeah, there's Qui Gon. Yeah, yeah, cool. All right now. Yeah, and you just. Oh, God. That's me. I'm done. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> I could talk, man, I could talk Star Wars all day. But, me too. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, in regards to, you know, you, you, you guys have been around for since like 2016. And looking at what you guys have done in that time, considering the thing that happened as well, that, sort of put a pause on everything. You you got a lot of stuff in there from the from the out, out of the gate. I mean you you open for Max and Igor, Alien Weaponry, Psychroptic, Flesh God, uh Origin. Dude, that's a good run to kick things off. Thank you. Yeah. I, I think it was really like when the band when the band started, it was like because uh Frankie the guitarist and Lachlan the drummer um, or actually, and Daniel, we all went to school together. Um, Daniel's in an, in the year level below us. So, but the three of us went, uh, played music together when we were like 16, 17, 15. Um, and then sort of getting back into it for, for primitive was like, you know, let's just muck around and have a jam and, and see what happens. And then I was like, okay, cool. And in my mind, it's like, yeah, well, let's muck around, let's muck around, have fun. But 
let's also do a bunch of stuff. So uh, like it was it just wanted to throw ourselves into as many things as we could. Um, pretty proud of, of what we've done so far. And yeah, safe to say, I think a lot of people's, obviously a lot of bands momentums fell off in the last couple of years, but mm. really just want to continue that, you know, yeah, we did, we did, we've done a few days in Japan. We've done some really cool festivals. Um, yeah. We've supported our heroes and, I think with this release, we just want to keep doing it. So um, who knows what's next? I really, I'd really like to think that this, these songs are, are good to stand amongst, you know, some heavy hitters out there yeah. and, and, um, and we'll see, we'll see what it brings us, but yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's just all about a, a, a big, uh, not a big, a strong work ethic. Just do like, just get as many things as you can and put in the work and, you know, have fun with it. So that's all it is. And I want to go Japan. That's like my dream to tour Japan. Yeah, I did it for, I was there for a month. And I, so we did like a couple of weeks traveling. We did the four dates with Origin and The Crown. And then um, I work um, for the Australian distributors of ESP Guitars. Nice. So we, yeah, so I spent a few more days with the team there and just guitar nerded out. So it was like every, like music, guitars, uh, Japan, like pop culture, so like video games and, and all that sort of stuff was just, and like the history as well was just everything. Yeah. Like everything I loved, I was just like, I do not want to go home. Like, this is <laughs> nuts. the best time. So um, yeah, I, I think when you go, you let me know and we'll, we'll, we'll go nerd out together. Cause I'm, I'm ready. Sure. That's a really like, good idea. Like you should see like the yeah. vintage, like vintage pop culture shops and like vintage toys and video games. It's just like out of this world. You wouldn't expect to see anything, you know, um, like that. So yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely, it's definitely a place you want to, you want to check out. The dream. My best mate and I were meant to go for my 40th. I'm an old man. Um, and then obviously can't go. He's, he's all about traveling. Yep. And he's all like, all right, mate, 40th, we're going to Japan. We're gonna go to the to Nintendo Land. We're gonna look at all the all the rad toys and stuff, and go go. I think we were, we were looking at going to um, Not Fest or something like that over there. Yeah. But yeah. um, obviously it didn't happen. Mm, so, he loves all these his Japanese metal bands, like all the really obscure stuff that you don't. Oh, cool. <laughs> so he's like, he's heartbroken. He's like, I want to go see these, these bands. I want to take you yeah, uh, well, one day. Well, you know, hopefully the, the world doesn't so, kind of sh- shit his pants again. Um, <laughs> yeah, can't, can't, say it, can't say it won't, but, you know, uh, he's, he's hoping for, for yourself and, and your mate. Yeah. yeah, everyone. I mean, it's kind of like we got this long-running joke where it's like, you know, the itchy and scratchy movie where it's like old Homer and old Bart yeah. finally go and see. That'll be us, but we'll be like really, really old. Like yeah, Nintendo Land. <laughs> Which yeah, no, and it. and like when they talk about inflation, it, sorry, <laughs> I'm a huge Simpsons fan as well. But like, when it's like two tickets to the itchy, itchy and scratchy movie. They're like that'll be six hundred dollars or whatever it is. <laughs> it's kind of what it is now. Like everything's just getting more expensive. So yeah. you're not too far off the, you know, off, I know. Off the, 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 it's actually <laughs> just in the inflation side. It's true, and it scares me. So I've got to go. Yeah. Got to go now before you know. I, 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 it's out priced. You know, I guess we'll have virtual reality where we'll, there'll be avatars, you know, yeah. like there'll be goggles. Yeah. You can just walk around. You know, it's not the same. Not the same. It isn't. It isn't. Uh, but um, what, what else you guys got coming up? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you're talking before about, you know, I don't know if you can mention it on, on the thing, but you, you got some shows coming up, tour, maybe maybe a trip up here to Queensland. That'd be nice. I think we're nothing's nothing set in stone for us just yet. Um, we're kind of figuring out um, an EP launch, which will be happening here in, in Melbourne mm. at room sometime in the next sort of few, well, six, sort of month or two, so six weeks or something like that. Um, we'll see how that goes. We're just sort of in the final stages of planning that. But I really want to do like an East Coast thing, uh, like maybe maybe later this year. We'll, we'll get up there and, and do a few dates and a couple weekenders or whatnot. But really there's nothing nothing set for us just yet um but 
the goal is to just play as, as many shows as possible. Whoever will have us will take it and uh, and we'll we just want to grind. We just want to play some music. So yeah. Hey man, we'll talk off air because I've got I, I I think I won't mention you because it's about your band. But we'll we'll cook something up that'll be really All cool. Right. All right. Okay. But um, <laughs> Tim, thank you for hanging out on the show. It's been really, really fucking cool hanging out with you. Uh, we're gonna have all the links down here to uh, the EP with the ra- with the rats and <laughs> with the rats and the snakes. It's Monday, struggling. Yeah, um, yep. mate, it's killer. And everyone, go get it. Get some merch. Support the boys. And uh, we will see you very soon, my man. Hey, I really appreciate your time. Thanks for having us. It was uh, it was quite fun. And I hope to do it again soon. <laughs>